Oh, hi there, everybody. How's it going? Uh, Nas here, and uh, today I'm gonna do this unboxing and review with a couple other ones from this scale from Hot Wheels, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Um, but when I saw this in the store, I sure was excited. So, uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, guys, so uh, today we're gonna take a look at this bad boy right here, as you just saw with my face. We're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna compare it to this Elite 164 scale, which is smaller, obviously. <laughs> then we're gonna take a look at this bad boy, which is the Skyline 34. And we're also gonna take a look at this, which I've already reviewed before, but this was the first one I ever got, and boy did I regret it, because it was like 25 bucks, and so are all of them. So, um, yeah. So if you guys are into this, you want to hear my thoughts on these, especially this guy, because I'm super excited about that. None of these other ones have moving parts. This one should, because the 164 does right here. So, let's, uh... Take a look. We'll go with that first, and if you want to stick around to look at those, please do. And uh, let's start the review. <laughs> okay, uh, first and foremost, let's take a look at the packaging, because it comes on a blister. And it's designed so that um, you can just put it right back and hang it back up on the wall because 143rd scale like where do you put it it's a very odd size you know what i mean so anyway 69 modified ford mustang 143rd scale and if you watched my video in my previous video literally before this one i found this yesterday I found all of them actually. There were, I believe, two cases of these hanging there and only one Mustang. So I was like, yoink. <laughs> but a uh, close second was this Mercedes. It was very nice. Um, the detail, the headlights are amazing on that. And uh, the Porsche just looked like a regular CVS car. So did the Corvette. But um, that's what they look like for some reason. <laughs> so, all right. Um, there's all the writings and stuff that no one cares about, really. And uh, we're just gonna jump into this. So it's closed by these two goopy gooey things. I think they're called tape of some sort. All you do is slice it open. A tutorial on how to slice open goobly goops. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look-see, shall we? So, just gonna... Wait, is there... Oh, there's more gooply goops. There's not just two. There's four. Alright. Gooply goop number three. Goobly boop number four. Yes, those are spelled differently for each time you say it. Okay, so, um, this is number seven of the latest release. Okay, so here we go. Look at that, it's right here. All you have to do is grab it. Oh, I can already feel the hood. Oh my God, that's heavy. Wow. Okay. So it comes with uh, this non-recyclable plastic and all this other non-recyclable plastic, which is fine because why would you throw this out? It's perfect little blister. Here's the card art. I love the card. Dude, this, this Mustang is just beautiful, man. All right. Let's put this back in. But Nas, if you cut the boobly boops, boops, it's gonna lose its value. It's not. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, I'm, I'm done with the bloop. Okay, so look at this beauty right here. Again, let me repeat myself. This is heavy, like, it's all metal. All freaking metal. There's your bottom, 69 modified Ford Mustang, 2023. It's super fresh. Of course, rubber tires. The wheel choice is fantabulous. 
we'll compare that to the 164 scale from Elite. Have a look at that. That is freaking cool. Loving the detail. There's your door handle, beautiful exhaust right here. Yes, they roll. Can't really tell. There's the back. Those are translucent red acrylic taillights. So are the headlights here. The grill just looks amazing. Love that little Mustang logo right there. Very nice touch. Top view. You can see the roll cage in the back there. Could have done a little more with that other stuff, not just gray plastic, but hey, you know, at $25, who can afford to do that? Sarcasm. But anyway, this is really cool. I understand the price is hefty, but I've always complained about that, but uh, to be honest with you, it's okay for this one because this comes off. So let me teach you guys how to open this without losing your shoot and being like, oh, why can't I open it oh, and start slamming it and stuff. It's very simple. All you do is, see right there? By the way, look at that beautiful silhouette. God, okay. All you do is lift the front right here, see? Lift that up, get those little pegs to stick out, and just slide it off. That's all you do. Oh, wow, okay. That's not bad. No, again, could have done a little more chrome there but it's okay. That's really cool. And that's all that opens or does anything, but you know what? That's better than the other ones, which I'll show you after this. But that is neat. Let's see. There you go. I mean, I can, you know, always customize that, but that shouldn't be something that you should be doing if you're paying that much for Hot Wheels product. But, you know, hmm. Okay, let's uh, compare to the 164 right after I uh, show you the hood. The paint is fantabulous, look at that. Ooh, look at all those separate pieces. That's awesome. That's basically what you're paying for is all these separate pieces that have to be assembled. But we'll touch on the subject of these things being a little overpriced. Uh, don't break this. Okay, here's how you put it back together. Line up these pegs under the thing right there. Ah, gently. Okay, I need to look at the actual stuff here. Okay, gently. There you go. Slide it. Clip back down. Done deal. So yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a look see at the 164 scale. All right. So here's the 164 scale. Comparison time. Okay. Oh wow, there's way more detail here now. If you look at the hood here, let's take them off and compare those first. So, push up, pull out. Pull out, I said. Ugh, that one's a little more difficult. Well, while we're here, as you can see, the detail is not as strong, but not too bad. 
Let's compare. Let's compare. Mm -hmm. So they painted the air intakes, a little bit of the heads. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. So let's have a look see here. Whoa. There we go. So the headlights are just painted on the 164, the Elite version. Here we have the inserts, of course. Nothing else here except for the grill holes. And the top is where you see most of the difference. As you can see, all these little black pieces, little accents. Those are added. That's pretty cool. Okay. What else we got here? Let's have a look. So the bottoms are the same. Pretty much a scaled up version, you know? Let's see. Yeah, taillights are painted on the Elite. Which, you know, it's an Elite. Maybe they should have tried a little harder. Um, you know, just saying. Um, all right. I like that the interior of this is darker. It's like a darker gray, which works much better. And then you have these two other uh, black accents right there. Everything on the side seems the same, except for the wheels. We'll get back to those. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's put the hoods back on so we can admire these things a little bit better. Yeah, the 64 scale is a little difficult, more difficult rather. Okay. By the way, I've said this before, I'll say it again, just huge thanks and shout out to Steve Young um, of Miniature Mustangs. Uh, check out his um, YouTube channel right there. Uh, awesome guy, he's a collector and an artist, uh, just a good dude all around. He owns, owns himself a beautiful award-winning, show-winning Mustang. Uh, but yeah, check out his uh, channel. Um, just good stuff, good vibes, and uh, he does giveaways. Don't subscribe for the giveaways, but, you know, uh, just mentioning that. <laughs> he loves to uh, spread the wealth. Uh, just a good, generous guy. And uh, not to mention the customs he makes are top-notch. I own a few. So with that being said, Steve, thanks for uh, donating this for the last um, fundraiser that we were doing for Ukraine on my channel here. And, uh, yeah, I ended up bidding on this, even though he gave it to me as a gift. So, um, thank you, Steve. This is a keeper forever. <laughs> okay, so, um, the wheels, as you can see, they're different on the 164. Ah, I just noticed. There's a, let's zoom in. There's a disc brakes and calipers right there. Man, that paint is jumping at you. Look at that. On the back too. Very cool. Oh, there you go, guys. I'll give you a little bit of more of a close up here. Honestly, I think this one is worth it for 25. Um, again, it's not a scale I'm into. But this is my third one from Hot Wheels, <laughs> so damn it, they got me. But definitely not getting uh, all of them, just obviously the ones I like, so. Okay, let's move on to the other ones, because there's really not much else I can tell you, other than uh, how cool this is. I know some people are just not fans of this car for some reason, I don't know why. I freaking love it. It's freaking nice. Freaking. Freaking. Look, it's just as big now. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing around. Okay, let's uh, move on to the other guys. Um, yeah, I'll do the Mustang, the Mach 1. My first one of these. Alright, let's do this. Okay, here it is. Here's the uh, 
2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Uh, this car I actually saw at uh, the Philadelphia Auto Show, and I have some pictures with it. I probably won't be able to find them for this video, but just, just imagine me next to there going like, yeah, there you go. Theater of the Mind. So this was the first release. You probably can still find these at your Target or whatever. Um, they put out the Mustang and this Jeep Wrangler, uh, which is dangling everywhere even now. So whatever. But <sighs> love the art. Love that it's like a real photo of it. So let's uh, open this up. I already cut the goobly goops. The goobly boops. To stop saying that boops. All right. Get back in there. Ah, oh, come on, man. Now this thing's coming off. Cats and dogs are getting along. Complete chaos, man. All right. All right. Just don't want to mess up the card. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here's the original thing. Here's what got me into the rabbit hole of these uh, 143rd scale uh, Hot Wheels. What, what are they called? Uh, Hot Wheels Premium. That's it. Just Premium 143rd scale. Okay. This is coming up next. Okay. So. Anyway, uh, like I said, saw this at the car auto show, Philadelphia auto show, and completely fell in love with this car. I know it's mostly just the livery, you know what I mean? But I, I guess the livery just works for me. It's kind of like a um, dark horse Mustang. Really dig that as well. Smog 1. Clear, uh, translucent red rear taillights. Let's see. Separate exhaust piece. Wow, that is... Huh. Okay. Oh, because, okay, that's a different type of car. <laughs> okay, 2022. Yep. There you go. So, 21 Mustang Mach 1. There's your livery right there. Beautiful headlights. Look at that. Painted a little bit right there. Got the horse. To be honest with you, um, that's why I was disappointed because, you know, it sounds like a convenience store pullback for $5, you know what I mean? And it's pretty much that scale as well. And since nothing opens, it's kind of that. The only redeeming quality for this car is delivery and uh, <laughs> the fact that it's all metal. And it's Hot Wheels, which is, you know, Hot Wheels is Hot Wheels. Sometimes it is what it is. Um, I just like this. I don't know. Um, I don't regret buying this. I did for, like, the longest time after I bought this. I even was going to go return it, but I was like, nah. I'll hold on to it. It's cool. So now it's in my collection. So there you go, guys. That's the, uh, the Mach 1. But love the color scheme. Like, it's just, like, clean, black, orange, and gray. I think it's great. And thank you, Mattel, for not making these rubber. I hate that stuff. <laughs> but there's your beauty. Let's uh, compare it again to this guy. Ooh, need to zoom out a little. All right. Ah, stop. There you go. That's a big boy. That's what happens when you put a wide body on something. <laughs> it's huge. Definitely the biggest one I think they've made. So there's the two new ponies in my stable. There you go. But you can see how they've definitely stepped up the, the quality and the detail, I think. Which makes me not want to, you know, don't, don't regret it. I don't. <laughs> All right, so there you go, Mach 1. And that's the thing, see, this one I talked about for a while, there's so many details, the roll cage, all the details, everything, all the separate parts, the opening hood, all that good stuff, and this thing is just like, yeah, rubber tires, it's all metal. Ah, so 
the only thing I have, uh, well, the only thing I chose um, to compare this to, because they don't make this in 164, sadly. I, I don't think any company does, which kind of sucks. Um, I would love this at 164, excuse me. So I pulled out my uh, absolute favorite casting of this year, casting and livery. I think the, they did an amazing job. I think this was the silver line uh, set. But look how beautiful this Shelby is. Hot Wheels really did a good job. See, like, when Hot Wheels does this and they charge, like, three bucks for it, that's fine. Granted, I wheel swapped it with some real riders, <laughs> uh, which makes it look even better. Uh, I think these are good for that. But as you can see, the detail on this $3 toy are amazing. Like, this is collector grade, essentially. Look how cool that looks. Just wanted to talk about that because I just think, you know, I don't buy that many Hot Wheels for my collections anymore. But when they're like this, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. So let's see. 143rd scale compared to 164 scale. There you go. Toop, toop. Almost twice as, twice as long. There you go. I use this nail to pick on uh, cocaine. <laughs> no, you know, like picking at things when I'm making art. So I cut all my other nails. I know some people were having issues with that. I'm like, okay, I'm, I mean, they're my nails, bruh. <laughs> so okay, let's uh, let's go to the our final car, um, the skyline. Got the skyline. Let's zoom out. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a little uh, breaking the third wall here. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, save for last because people usually watch, you know, the beginning of things more so. So I've had this for a while. I actually stumbled upon, like, a full rack of them just pegs full of them i think there were maybe eight of these hanging there it's one of in one of my videos but uh, i swore to myself again that i wasn't gonna get it because it, it is a black hole to fall into and at 25 dollars, i'd rather buy like no 64 time micro ignition model um you know all those types of things mini gt kaido house um you know and they're 164 scale, which is my main collection, you know, go-to. So, yeah, I haven't opened this yet, so uh, we're gonna do that for y'all today. Blippity-gloop, blippity-goop, goo-goo-goo, eh, giggity-goo. Alright. Yeah. So, everyone loves the R34, of course. Uh, so this one is Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 34 V-Spec 2 NUR with Nismo parts. NUR. <laughs> Here's the back. This one came out with the Mercedes. I actually saw that at the last um, when I where I found the, the new release. Uh, there was one there dangling. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's your Nismo, all your whatchamacallits, licensing, right? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, you probably want to watch that. There you go. Did I, I missed a gloopy goop? Dang, come on, bro. Okay. I apologize for technical difficulties. Ooh, that one's heavy too. There we go. Perfect, right? You can display it on the shelf when you're done, put it back, you can hang it on the wall. Good idea. Stay tuned till the end because I will be uh, talking about my problem with the price range. Except for that, I think that's not a bad price for that. Well, I haven't seen this yet, so let's find out together. Let's zoom in. Whoa! Um, here we go. So... That is a really nice, like, green tint. It's pretty much like, I think, right? And, um, 
Fast and Furious in that short film where he buys this car at a little like dinky place somewhere in Nevada. Um, I think it was this color. I don't recall. Let me know in the comments. You guys know. Uh, I appreciate those. Okay, so let's zoom in on this even more. Zoop. Okay, so we have V-Spec. We have the Newer. We have the GTR. We have the Nissan. Look at that. It's legible. Like, these stickers are not bad at all. Tail lights are... Yep, they are translucent red acrylic inserts, which is amazing. And they're painted. Nice touch. Nice. Um, you have your wing, which is... What kind of that's a two-piece or not? No, no, it's one piece but painted. I appreciate that black piece. Very nice. Interior is black. Why couldn't they do that on this? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. You got your rotors. You got your brake pads. Got a little Nismo. Nismo R logo on it. Five spokes. Looks very nice, actually. So, disc brakes all around. Alright, the front. Those headlights are really nice. Look at that. Shiny. Clear acrylic. A clear acrylic. 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 <laughs> With uh, chrome inserts in the back there. Is that a little schmutz there? It's okay. Don't matter. I'll get that. Let's look at this one. Oh, I think that's meant to be there. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, GTR logo, Nismo logo. Uh, beautiful little bottom lip. Little painted detail for the indicators. Um, yeah, side markers, actual door handle that's molded in there. Then on the inside, you have your uh, bucket seats. You have a JDM spec, right-hand drive right there, GTR logo on the steering wheel. I can't zoom in that much. Oh, come on. It's okay. Whew. Sorry, I had to turn the AC off to film this. I am swamp donkey over here. But yeah, there's your top. Look at that beautiful little intake there. Not rubber. Perfect. But yeah, other than that, there you go. Uh, let's see. I have something to compare that to. One of these puppies. I think it's the closest thing I can use to compare to right here. Got this on whatnot for like 10 bucks. All right. Um, there we go. Yeah. It's very close. Yeah, see? I just broke the uh, the mirror off right there. Look at that. It's okay, I'll glue it back on, with, but it's a bummer. That's kind of the problem with Mini GT is that happens um, a lot if you're not careful. But like I said, I broke it because I'm looking at this through my camera. So everything is very grabby and easy to mess up. But this cost me 10 bucks. I don't care. It's okay. But this is a very good comparison uh, for that bigger one. This Mini GT has all the same details. Just, you know, no Nismo stuff. Uh, the reason why I'm showing this to you is because it's easy to break those off. <laughs> That's why they put the rubber things on there. But uh, I'd still rather have this because uh, whatever. But uh, there you go. So there's your comparison ten dollars maybe 15 at the most right now you can pick up one of these compared to 25 25 dollar brick uh i mean nothing opens here as well but you know um you know what i'm saying but there's your 164 and 143 it's okay guys don't worry i'm not stressing over that mirror like at all <laughs> at all
it's all good. Uh, but yeah, here's your comparison of scales, which I really enjoy doing that. Cool. All right. Let's have a look see at everything. Make sure I don't I don't lose that little mirror that I have right there in the wheel well. God, I can't believe I did that. Well. <laughs> Okay, okay guys, we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna roll these out for y'all to uh, have a look-see. Nice and close, especially if you have a, a big old TV you're looking at these at. There's your beautiful skyline. Can't go wrong with this car ever. They're just beautiful and legendary. I mean, look at that. I have a turntable, but I, I don't care. There you go. There's your scale comparison. Papa! Wait for me, Papa! <laughs> oh wait, from this angle it doesn't look that much smaller. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. There, that's a little bit better. I know, you probably want both of these, huh? So that's cool. Blah, 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 blah. Um, that was weird. There we go. Here's the Mach 1 silhouette for you. Or profile, I should say. Silhouette would be like blacked out. There you go. Look at that aggressive face. All right, where's your child? There you go. <laughs> Again. I like these things. That's why I collect them. They're freaking awesome. Yeah. This is just cool, right? How cool is that? Not a premium, just very beautifully done. What a beauty, man. Okay. And let's have a look-see at our star of the show, of course. This big mama. Okay. So remember, open the hood, then gently pull it. There it is. There's your hood. There's your car. Ah, maze balls. Simply amaze balls. There you go. But yeah. What do you guys think? Alright, so uh, let me talk about this a little bit after I show you the the mama and the cub next to each other. <sighs> Both impressive. That should be the thumbnail. <laughs> Maybe it will be, I don't know. There you go. Very nice. Okay, well that's it for the review. Um, let me give you a little bit of a talk. Um, let me zoom this out a bit. Okay guys, so first of all, big shout out to Aces High Hobbies right there check my man out uh, then go and check out this video uh, he just did a review on these things and his thoughts on the 143rd scale um, I think you'll appreciate it and he kind of breaks it down way better than I could uh, I've made a video on this before but uh, dude my man just reached 500 subs he's gonna be doing a giveaway uh, go subscribe to him uh, check him out really good dude um, just a true collector which is kind of rare these days right so yeah ace is high check them out shouty okay guys so my whole thing on these is um it changed a little bit uh but not really so it only changed a little bit because of this car 
uh, which I bought yesterday. Before then, um, it was this car. Hi, Penny. <laughs> uh, this was the first car I bought, and I was actually just kind of uh, getting over my whole minimalist thing. I got rid of a whole lot of my collection, which I regret nothing about that at all, because now I only collect what I like and what I want to keep, not anything, any other reason. Let's not go into that. So, uh, I got this and I actually uh, was really having a hard time, but a lot of my friends in my video would comment, be like, dude, just get it, enjoy it, whatever. Uh, um, eventually I did. Uh, I left it hanging there for over a month or two and eventually I caved in and um, I opened it and I was like man it sounds so like cheap you know and uh, hi Penny <laughs> and uh, yeah <sighs> kitty hi we're not reviewing your adorable fluffy legs can we all right come here you know just be over here you're fine okay that's Penny say hi Penny she's sniffing the wall Okay, psst, psst, psst. hey, Penny, look over here. Look at the people. <laughs> okay, so um, again, I'm not like crazy, like, you know, like, oh, whatever. But at a, the price range is what set me off. I was like, 25 bucks for this, like nothing opens, you know, hence why this changed my mind a little bit. They tried harder. They made it better for this one anyway. Uh, I saw the Porsche they, they have in this uh, series that kind of looked cheapish. I don't know, maybe someone will get it and review it. Um, eh. uh, but yeah, this is cool. I dig this. And um, But for 25 bucks, I busted out the um, Hot Wheels pullback speeders. Let me show you that real quick. One. All right, so here's the comparison. Here's what I'm trying to talk about. And that was my original video was about this. Um, this was the 69 Ford Mustang. I love this casting. I had to rebuy this because my nephew actually wanted it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Penny. All right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I was playing with all of these with my nephews. I also have this 143rd scale bone shaker. See, these are pullbacks. They don't work as well on, uh, you know, felt. I also have this uh, K. Mighty K, right? Yeah, I'm sure it is. And of course, uh, the Dimashini. Remember, guys, it's Dimashini, not Demashini. Dima is the name of the designer, Dmitri uh, Shahmatov. So Dima, <laughs> Dima. He's Ukrainian. Works for Mattel. He's actually manages the design team. Anyway, he designed this beautiful car. Look, stuff opens. It's metal except for the bottom, but it's pulled back. So, oh yeah, by the way, that's uh, Oliver right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, 143rd scale now. You know, oh, well, that's the wide body there. See, a little bit better. And uh, I believe these were only uh, like six bucks, six, maybe seven bucks. The price of a regular premium uh, Hot Wheels cats um they're making me lose my train of thought but anyway so these are the uh pullback speeders man and uh these are not that expensive and they are metal as well at least metal body uh the hood opens on this mustang i definitely could do like a wheel swap on that but it's also a pullback um and i actually really really like the art on these so, you know, my first video, it was comparing these two, and I was like, what's, why 25? And why 6? You know what I mean? So, it kind of threw me off, um, but it is what it is. So, that was my main argument, and... Okay. Cuteness break. What are you guys doing? So, uh, my point being is, I, I don't really care these days, um, I like this, I like what I got, 25 is too much, I agree, and I'll keep saying that it's too much, but 
Seven bucks, man. I gotta get this out of the box as well. But it's one of those things where I, I just dig this. The, the font and the colors, all that really gives me nostalgia, man. Really like this design. So right now I'm looking for the Mad Manga because Junemai designed it. If you guys don't know who Junemai is, he designed Hot Wheels for... He designed for Mattel. He designed a whole bunch of Hot Wheels, such as Datsun 510, Mustangs, trucks, a whole bunch of different things. He also designed the Mad Manga, which is a really cool uh, thing. And they made one in 143rd pullback, and people apparently are scalping that for like at least 20 bucks on eBay. I'm not paying that price. I'm gonna wait for that to come through. So, uh, basically, that's it, guys. Uh, that's what I wanted to uh, compare this to. Just the, the weirdness of the prices, and uh, you know, I guess when you manufacture something to be a toy, you know, opening doors, uh, pullback action, a whole bunch of detail on it, just as good as uh, on these other things. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Are you guys holding off on these 143rd scale? Are, are any of you actually like buying them all up and collecting them? Let me know. Um, I'd really like to know. This video is way too long, so I'm gonna cut it out. And, um, that's it, man. Hopefully you enjoyed this review of this beautiful freaking Mustang, man. The, uh, 60... Where is it? The 69 modified Ford Mustang. Which is, to me, this is a must-have. Especially if you're a Mustang collector. You know, come on now. Beautiful car. Just a beautiful model, beautiful casting. That is an adorable kitty right there. And, um, yeah. GTR. A little Mustang action right there. Cool, cool, cool. We'll put that between his paws. Maybe a little more over there. <laughs> There's your thumbnail. Oh, hold on a sec. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I enjoyed making it. I'm gonna go uh, turn the AC on. And, uh, I don't know, have fun with the kitties. So yeah, guys, remember, have fun. These are, uh, this is a hobby. Enjoy whatever you like enjoying. Collect whatever you like to collect. Own your collection. Don't let it own you. And that's it, man. Get some kitties, because they make your life way better. Right? Right, Penny? She's like, oh my god, it's hot in here. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. See y'all later.